Yeah, welcome back to New Day on TV3. Remember, the program is brought to you by Vodafone. Power to you. Now we'll continue with our discussion on pensions. Of course, you've been following uh, the discussion on New Day for a while now, and a lot of you are beginning to understand what pension is and why it is important to plan your pension early and wisely. Well, uh, Dela Zumanu from Pensions Alliance Trust Limited is with us here. And yes, the other day somebody sent me a text and said, oh, when is your pension trustee coming back? So people are beginning to understand the various aspects of the new pension law and who the trustee is, the fund manager, and everything we need to know. Okay, so Della, today we want to look at retirement. Yes, uh, each time you hear the word retirement, people panic, really, because it's something that we want to avoid, but you can't avoid. It's inevitable. Yeah. You will clock the that age of 60 yeah. some even take it earlier yeah. yeah for various reasons so um prepare yourself if you have any questions leave it on my uh timeline on twitter my account is at the nanaba and uh we'll go through all your questions but Della, really wh what is retirement apart from we knowing that when you're 60 you have to pack your boxes and your books and leave that office because you've reached an age where you're considered too weak to work. Um, Nana, thank you very much. I, I must also add I've received lots of calls and people are getting interested in this discussion of retirement, pensions, or what have you. And for me, it's exciting because, uh, like you rightly said, it's an area that we haven't been too interested in because we are working and we are making money and so everybody's and happy. But very soon those of us who are working and are happy and the days and the months and the years are passing on will be growing and we'll reach the yeah, legal bro. retirement <laughs> age where we have to we have to say bye bye to active uh, work and then sit back and look retirement basically is I, I want to look at it as a whole as a process is actually the other life that we we're going to be living after 60 years and so it's a stage where people transit from from work as in normal work into a stage where you by law you are not expected or you and you are supposed to be resting mm -hmm. but a lot of things go into it and this morning or from today onwards um, with the time we have on our disposal I like us to look at the different phases of retirement mm -hmm what one has to do to prepare for retirement because like you said in your intro it's inevitable whether you like it or not the fact that the days pass and you're growing you get to a point where physically you can no longer continue to work mm. and you would have to retire or you'd have to take a break and then think about what you can do with your life but the other thing is that why are we talking about even retirement in the first place why should it become an issue or should it become a topic and i like to mention just a few things why we need to look at this matter mm -hmm. The first one is that you and I have no control over it. It will happen anyway. So what we can do is to prepare for it and be ready for it. Secondly, you know, when you look at traditional setting, we, we used to have safety nets where the person next door, who probably may not be your direct relative, can actually wake up in the morning realizing there is an old man living in this house who probably doesn't have anybody taking care of him, can make it their responsibility to cook morning, afternoon, evening, and give you something to eat. There are people who will go to the market and come back and give you something because they know you are, you are retired and you're not doing anything. So we have safety nets that took care of people. That safety net is gone. Largely, it's gone. Yeah. Now, it is each for himself, God for us all. And that is why we must be bothered about how we prepare to retire. The other thing is that before people will talk about life expectancy, how old people grow before yeah. they die. I mean, against all the run of play, people are growing older now than before. 15, 20 years back, people were dying younger. But now people are living longer. From our last uh, population census, it came out clearly that the life expectancy of the average Ghanaian has increased. So if you retire at 60 and you hope that by 65, 70, I'm gone. Now, you're not dying that young anymore. You could be dying after 70, yeah. 80. So it means that you need to prepare to live longer now, the other thing is that what you bargain for is what you get. What that means is that if you don't prepare yourself now, you will get the results for not preparing for pensions or for retirement. So basically, there are a lot of things that come to play. 
And that is why I think that it's important we look at it and we discuss How it. do we prepare for retirement? I look at that in one, the emotional preparation. Emotional? Yes. Emotional, psychological, physical. And the yeah. first thing that would come to mind will be financial commitments you have made. But now you're mentioning emotional, emotional physical. Emotional, physical, health, uh, social, psychological. Look, Nana, let me tell you what retirement is all about. Eh? It's about you, especially for those who are in the formal sector. Having worked in a particular place for a number of years, having risen to a certain level where certain courtesies are accorded you. And then in, in say, a month, in a year, in very organized setups, they probably will give you a year's notice yeah. that in a year's time, you will cease to be an official member of this company because you have reached 60 years or you are reaching 60 years. Look, Nana, you even imagine that you went to secondary school you wrote your final exams, and you've written your last exam. I mean, we are all excited about it, waiting to leave the school. This school yeah. is not a good place, and the teachers are worrying. I remember when I was living in Form 5. I was so happy to leave the system. Then I wrote my last paper, and then I sat back and realized, that, what? I'm actually come to leave this place? Then it dawns on you that, hey, I'm leaving, I'm transiting from a normal daily routine of waking up in the morning, going to work, somebody fetching tea for me, yeah. somebody driving me, somebody preparing my itinerary, somebody telling me what I have to do, preparing lunch for me, attending meetings, getting all the ketsis. Now, in a year's time, all that ketsi is going to go. And I'm going out into a future that I don't know what is waiting for me, especially if you have not prepared for it. So that's where the emotional comes in. The psychological comes in, the social. Because for many of us, once we are working, we spend our lives and our time with people that we have known. I mean, look at you. You've been here for how many years? You've the people you've worked with all this work. Could you imagine? Let's say you are retiring in a year. Could you imagine that you are leaving this house with all the excitement you have, the people you have grown up with, the people you have, you have been involved with, and you are going out there to a place that you don't even know who is waiting for you? It's an emotional set up for people. They can't handle it. A lot of people break down. And I'm telling you, a lot of people miss their work environment so much that many of them, out of that frustration, may even die before yeah. that. And I remember you mentioned that uh, you start planning towards your pension the very day you are employed. Is that the same attitude for your retirement? I mean, you see, your pensions is when you stop. Your preparing pensions basically is like what you get when you retire mm -hmm. or when you stop working, when you reach your legal working Retirement is the next phase of your life after your working life. So it's a, it's a next phase. It's not just an event. It's actually a process. It's a lifetime. It's another life of you. It's like, I call it the second adulthood. Mm. Because you have moved into another phase of your life. And that phase of your life would have to continue. So can you imagine, even the Bible says that, would anyone intending to build a house, not first to the encounter's cost, what that means is that you are now going to a new phase. It's a new project altogether. Will you not sit down and count the cost? And here we'll talk about the cost as we go along. The cost is unthinkable. There are many of the things we never thought about that will come up with us when we go on retirement. So we don't even plan for it. So you get out there and you get a shock. So there's a shock section when you go on retirement. You, you are shocked. Some even get up and dress up going to work only to be reminded, oh, you are not going to work again. Yeah. Because they have been used to that routine. It's normal for them. You know, so a lot of, and we have issues of health, we have issues of uh, social, because people don't even know in their own social setup, because of work, they haven't built social, you know, uh, strategies that they can they rely on. So it's, it's, a, it's, an, it's an area that I think this country doesn't have a setup for. Some organizations try to give their people who are retiring some heads up. And I, I'll tell you about the GRE. They, we have a program with them and they are excited about it. They cannot wait. What program is this? Where we are taking their, their people through what it takes to prepare for retirement. Mm -hmm. So Every, what does it take? It takes lots of preparation over time. What it takes is one. You want to ask yourself, where am I now? Okay. What so it's never too late? No, 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 no. It's never too late, but earlier the better. It's never too late, but earlier. Because it has issues of you even thinking that when I finish or when I retire, is there something I can do with myself? Is there a hobby I can develop into a, into a business? Mm -hmm. Can I continue to offer some services? Because, and the thing is that people develop a lot of skills whilst they are working. I mean, nobody is useless when it gets retirement. Because can you imagine what you have been doing here and you are retired? 
the knowledge you have gathered here mm. is on paro. And you can put that knowledge back to work even when you're in retirement. And there are a lot of people who earn a lot of money, rather even earn more than they were earning when they yeah. go in retirement than when they were working. Because they become consultants. They become consultants. They build capacity. They yeah. build lots of skill and knowledge. And you need to plan to put it to work. It doesn't come to you automatically. Mm. You need to build you know, resources of knowing people, networks, connections that you can use when you go on retirement. So first of all, you're thinking about where am I? What do I have? What would be the needed resources when I retire? What would I need when I retire? Based on that, you're asking yourself, what do I have now? And we'll talk about the three-legged chair. As your, your finances, can it meet my demands when I go on retirement? If it will not meet it, what can I do to deal with it? The, the difference, you know, do I have other sources of income that I can bring on board? Yes. Can I develop a business when I'm going? What are my skill set that I'm going out with? You know, what are my networks that I'm going to need? What will the church be asking me to do? What will the community be asking me to do? You become an Ebusia Penny, what will be those demands on me? These are all things that you need to sit down, take paper and pen, and put it down so that you can then put value to them and ask yourself, Am I ready? And let me I put a separate question for those of are people who work in the ministries and government sector where they are in government bankers. Many of them forget that one day they'll be asked to leave. Out. And so for some of them, it's in the latter stages of their lives, three years to retire, four years to retire, before they realize that, hey, I don't have a place of my own. And many of them, because they don't have a place of their own here in town, they have to move to their, to their hometowns and stuff like that. And that's why they don't even know you. Because you're so busy doing the, the job of the state that you don't even travel home. So you're like a stranger when you get back there. That affects your social life and it can easily kill you. Because your circle of friends were in your office. You didn't, some of them even don't go to church to have a circle of friends in church. So you want to start belonging to a social group that can give you a safety net when you retire. So that you can even spend time. And those of them who are, who are lucky to have built a career, who are who have a higher tail career, would have friends they play golf with, they have friends they, they sit down and chat with. So they have a thing to retire to. Some will build a small consultancy that they will retire to. So they are built in our sensors. It gives a certain profile of the Ghanaian population in terms of their ages. And you see, when it comes to planning, you need all that to plan. Okay. Because if you look at the, the stratification of the ages and the percentages that belong to it, we have an increasingly very young population. Yes. And that has implications for paying retirement benefits. It does? It does. Because if, for example, I mean, take two countries. One country has like 50% of its population between the ages of 18 and say 25 or 18, 18 mm -hmm. and say 30 years. It means that it gives some kind of respite to the authorities right. that they can amass you know, pension contributions now mm -hmm. only to be waiting another 30 years to pay it back. So you have time to invest that money. Another country that has between 50 and let's even say 45 to like 55 being like 60 percent or mm -hmm. even like 55 percent you're in crisis because what it means is that in the next 10 15 years this is a mass of people yeah. who will be retiring for you to pay benefits so in france for example they're having issues with paying benefits so they started to increase so that it will reduce the them, number of people yeah. so these things are all there so when a country wants to look at its pensions age or retirement age it's important that these calculations are done before you mm. decide that, oh, shall we increase it? But the other thing is this. There's, there are certain class of professionals who, as they age in their career, build critical mass of skill and ability that you cannot let them go and sit in the room. Talk about the doctors, talk about lawyers or judges, talk about lecturers and other professionals. They build capacity, more skills when they grow. So you realize that if you, in some places, they actually have exceptions for certain categories of of workers where their pension ages can or they can move like five yeah. years even when they have retired to have to work because of the mass knowledge that they have yeah. and i think that debate came up in ghana for us mm. i think the judges also and the lecturers were saying that look i mean at 60 i'm now i've not built critical critical knowledge you want me to go and sit home with it why don't you give me an extension five years and let me impact more mm. so these things are there so when Countries want to do these things. They have to look at demographics. They have to look at the statistics and also ask themselves, what's the, what's the benefit for us? Because there are benefits and, of course, there are disadvantages. Okay. Um, we'll continue uh, with our discussion on retirement. But I must say that I always you know, assume that once you're preparing for your retirement, it's just about the contributions you put down. But from uh, your submissions, clearly, it takes more than money yeah. to prepare for your retirement. And... Yeah. Uh, 
I must say it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> It is, guys. This is our confession. Thank you very much, Della Zumanu. Um, unfortunately, we are out of time, and I can't even go through the questions that are, have been coming here for you. I have several of them here lined up for you. Anyway, thank you very much, Della, from Pensions Alliance. And we'll see you next week, Thursday. Yep. And um, we'll continue with this one. Wow, okay. We'll be back with more on New Day. Stay tuned. <laughs>